Yeah, I say Austria. Austria, they, they, they did well. I think it's a good team, strong. They play some good football. Yeah, we'll go for them. Underdogs. Ooh. Uh, that's Switzerland. <laughs> For me, underdog is uh, Poland. I think with uh, Lewandowski and uh, some other good good players like Power, I think uh, they have a good chance to to come far. Um, I I don't think, uh, well even England, I don't think they get enough credit. You know, obviously with their qualifying group was probably a bit easier, and they didn't really show what what, what they could do. But I think when the push comes to shove, I think they will show how good they are. Teammate of mine is country Sebastian Prodols, Austria. Well, I don't know if it's a surprise, but Belgium has a very good squad, young squad, with amazing players in all the, in all the lines in defense, in midfield, and uh, for uh, the strikers, the goalkeeper. I think uh, they will do a very good tournament. A uh, surprise team is not it's not that easy uh, because it could be a, a, everyone. Um, I say, I hope Switzerland. <laughs> Uh, I've got a feeling like one of the home nations will do, do all right because the following that they're going to have as well. So uh, I'm going to back. Who should I back? I'm going to back sort of like Wales. Wales will do all right. I think Austria. We saw a lot of games. They play well. They have a lot of individual players like Arnautovic, Alaba, teammates like Sebastian Prodos. So I think they maybe do something, create a surprise. Uh, Craig wouldn't like it if I didn't say Northern Ireland, so I think them, either Northern Ireland or Ireland, either one I'd be happy. I think uh, Belgium because they, they play well and they are good players, Belgium maybe.